On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be trying out the mag of holding on the underrated cast off 74U and on the STB556 with the single tap mod. Let's go try them out. If you've been keeping up with our Pimp My Gun series, you've probably heard of the single tap mod attachment before, and that's because we just use this on the TR-76. But in that video, you guys made me aware that there's actually the same attachment for the STB-556. So we'll be trying that out today here. And as we can see, doing pretty decent. It looks like a two-shot kill here in tier one with no upgrades. And if you look down on the bottom right, again, this only has 10 rounds in the mag with not a whole lot in reserve. But we're hoping that this little amount of ammo and the single tap mod will actually offset the amount of ammo we have with the amount of damage that it does. And mag holding is probably gonna help out a little bit. As for our other weapon here, the cast off 74U, I was actually going through on stream and trying to grind out some camos recently. And this is a weapon that I haven't really touched at all in this game up until now. And I think this is pretty underrated. I haven't really heard anybody talking about this gun, but from the looks of it, it does pretty well. Like it has great mobility. The damage looks good on it. And even while I have like no stock or anything on this, the recoil control isn't too bad. And as you can see by the little drops going around over here, it messed up these tier one zombies pretty good. So let's go try it in tier two. Here's our lucky contestants here in tier two. This time we'll start with the cast off 762 and against an armored zombie. Took a little bit to break the armor, but it did end up killing it in only one mag with no upgrades. Unarmored zombie is about to go down, just barely has any health left. Doesn't look like it's doing too bad, but you can definitely see a damage fall off, which is to be expected, but it's not too terrible. Let's go ahead and test out our STB and how many three shots it takes to break the helmet on this armored zombie and a few extra to actually do some damage. There we go. Got the kill there, but looks like we're gonna be doing quite a lot of reloading with this bad boy, at least until we can get our MAGA holding on. But so far, I'm just hoping that this can be better than the TR-76 because an attachment like this can really benefit from MAGA holding and the TR-76 didn't do too well. Uh-oh, we gotta drive through the storm to get to tier three. Sorry, Stormcaller. I don't got time for you right now. Maybe later. But now we can go ahead and see how this is doing in tier three with no upgrades. We've gotta throw a decoy for my own safety. There's a fully armored zombie. Let's get him with the cast off. Can we break his armor at all? Like, do anything to him? Hello? Okay, I don't think that's breaking. We're, we're two mags deep and it's not doing anything. But the zombies... Oh, no, they figured me out. For a second there, they're just walking right by even after our decoy went off. But now let's bring out the STB. Here's another fully armored zombie. Oh, it actually broke his helmet. That's very surprising. Okay. I don't know if it's going to kill, but it doing armor damage is a good sign. And now we got a whole horde over here. All right, Crypto. I got a, I got a present for you, buddy. <laughs> He's got his justice fists out. There you go. Yeah, take him out. That's all for you. Oh, you got a pack three gun. He's going to be all right. All right, well, enjoy. Uh-oh, he left us a little present too. All these zombies coming out of the storm chasing him. All right, before we get into testing, I want to give this a little smack that we can keep this camo here because this Reflect 115 camo is looking pretty nice. And I want to, you know look at a little longer we got these upgraded uh let's go ahead and test the reload on these oh death perception i'll be grabbing that in a second let's take a few shots here reload that's kind of slow and what about our cast off take a few shots in the reload that's also pretty slow what about with speed cola where's it at let's activate that how's our reload looking now not bad what about you Okay, all right, Speed Cola definitely helps out a lot, but we're not gonna be needing it. Maggle holding, let's go. Let's throw on the rest of these and our little extra perk, give me that. And now we can pay a visit to our good friend, the Stormcaller. Actually, is this garage open? It is. Give me those decoys and zombies. Why don't you guys uh, go entertain yourselves with that? Let's try this out against this bad boy. How we doing? Broke his mask pretty fast and the damage ain't looking bad. The zombie was just bumping and grinding on me there. I'm a taken man, zombie. I'm sorry. You can't get none. Now let's try it. Our STB. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't become fully automatic when pack a punch. I'm just tapping it as fast as I can. And I actually do finally have on that uh, setting you guys were yelling at me about, where if you hold down the button, a semi auto weapon will just constantly shoot. But this is about the fire rate you get. You can see I'm holding down here so I don't have to constantly tap. But the fire rate is not very good. I feel like we are better off constantly tapping, but don't mean I'm happy about it. Actually, how are we doing against the zombies in here? Not very good. I'm not gonna lie. So let's Aether Shroud and... Oh, wait. Nope. I don't have an Aether Shroud. 
I do actually. What the hell? The zombies just decided to hit me late. That should be a penalty. That's 15 yards, buddy. Unsportsmanlike. Oh shit. Do I even have another self revive? I don't. Well, ain't this a hoot? Hold on, Stormcaller. I gotta hit up the nearest Buckies. Give me that. Let's reload on our decoys. Oh, nice to see ya. Came to visit us. Time for round two. Why don't you eat your heart out, Stormcaller? The damage on here, I mean, it's good. We're getting them down pretty steadily, but it's nothing like the Tomfa or anything. And of course, Zeus strikes me down. What an asshole. Uh, do we try the STB here? Like, it's doing all right damage, but I feel like we have a better chance of actually killing them and living to talk about it with our Kazdorf. So let's do that. I don't think the zombie's going to go away. They definitely did not. But your leader's gone. You have no one to bow to. You're free. Give me his skull. And I'm getting the hell out of here. But since we already went ahead and went down twice, uh, let's go ahead and knock out a quick tier two bounty so we can afford our extravagant lifestyle. And since our STB was a little neglected in our fight against the Stormcaller, let's give it a shot against this Disciple. It's basically the same thing. And it's absolutely shredding him. And he's already dead. God damn. That's what we like to see, STB. Look, another Disciple. Just taking them all out. And let's just do one more tier two bounty for good measure. I'm going to need the money. You can get some too, Mimic. Go ahead, turn around. Let me see that mouth of yours. Oh, shit. Why don't you bring it over here? Actually, you don't even need to. Stay right there. Idiot. And why don't you actually drop me some good shit for once? You get a whole lot of nothing. Now I think we got enough money to survive over here in tier three. And I think uh, they got a bounty waiting for me over here. If I can get to it fast enough. Hell yeah, we did. Now, what are we getting? What are we going up against? Oh, and it's an abomination. Our old pal. And I will be right with you, Mr. Abomination, after I get some Percocets from the Percocet man. Zombie, please. Back the hell up. Fucking junkies. How's our cast off doing now? Looks like it's absolutely shredding through zombies here in tier three. That's nasty. Nasty ass bastard. What about our STB? We didn't really leave it a whole lot to deal with there, but against no armor, seems to shred. And we saw how it did against armor earlier, but that was with no upgrades. Um, who took my aether portal? Where, where's the aether portal here? Why is a tornado back? What happened? When did uh, that disappear? That's concerning. I haven't been to that dark aether so long, it actually went out of business. I guess that's what they get for having some terrible schematics in there. It's like the circuit city of dark aether. Oh, here's an armored zombie. Absolutely demolish the armor. It one shots their helmets off. That ain't bad at all. And it actually tears through their health pretty quick. Sorry, Abomination. You're not getting all the attention? Am I too busy testing it against some tier 3 zombies for you? Oh, it's... It took a little long to actually break his face there. I don't like that. What about against these zombies? Actually, let's just throw a decoy and light this guy up. We'll take out the middle face from here. Who says this don't got range? Probably me. I think the damage falls off quite a bit at range, but... Looks pretty good right there. Did we break his face or did he get tired of uh, shooting his laser? Let me see. Oh, he just got tired. He got all tuckered out. Well, we can fix that right here, though. Let's go ahead and throw another decoy. These zombies can stay the hell away. And let's switch back to the STB. Maybe it was just uh, a mirage that we saw. Nope. Looks like this doesn't do the greatest damage against abominations, but... I have been liking what it's been doing against zombies so far. So let's just stick with our 74U. Light him up. Can we kill him here? Nope, not enough laser. There we go. Yeah, keep it going. Idiot. Dumbass. All I had to do was stand up high. You got anything good for me? I bet the answer is no. Yep, per usual. And now that we don't have an abomination barking down our throats, look at this. Wait, hold on. Why don't I try to be accurate for once? One shot breaks his helmet. Two shots gets him to half health. Three shots kills him. Three little tippy taps of this gun kills a fully armored zombie in tier three and it looks like it's messing up the mimic too that's what you like to see right there and i guess while this contract's right by us might as well do a nice little weapon cash and get some extra cash for us and let's get into it Ooh, i don't know if i like how the the 115 camo looks in the dark here it like loses all the saturation to its color it just becomes white but i guess while we're talking about this camo i should mention that no you weren't hearing things I actually was working on some camos on stream earlier. I am working more towards bioluminescent. I f have really been lacking on the camos, and that's no secret. I, I think anyone that's been watching me for a little bit probably knows that I've been lacking on Interstellar in, in bio. But now that we're getting ever so closer to BO6 and we have the beta happening later this month, 
It's, it's probably time I pick up the pace a little bit, don't you think? I think I just need 10 more weapons. No, not even 10. Six more weapons. Zircon scale or, or spinal husk, whatever the, the middle camo is for bio. Oh, shit. So I just need six more of those weapons and I can start working on Arachnia or, or Arancada, whatever the Serpentinite version of the bioluminescent camo tree is. Please don't kill me. I'm just a boy, but I, I want to set that goal for myself to get those camos done, you know, actually lock in and finish them before BO6 comes out. That way I can switch my focus into actually getting better at round based before we have like real zombies come back and then we'll, we'll revisit Cold War, do the Easter eggs there, you know, freshen up on the story, make sure we know what's going on and then maybe actually get decent at multiplayer before that beta comes out. And speaking of streaming, I've been messing around with multi-stream. So I have been back on Twitch and YouTube. I've been doing it simultaneously on there. And this isn't to shamelessly plug my own stuff on here, which I, I mean, it is a little bit, but that's beside the point. But while I've been getting the, the hang of multi-stream in, there has been a few technical issues and one of them happened at midstream last time. I have no idea what happened. It like completely disconnected, but it happened at a very unfortunate moment because Shelton went ahead and dropped me uh, a nice, a nice 50 bomb during stream. And I don't know if he heard it or not, or heard my, my thanks to him. So I thought maybe you might reach him in a video. So thank you, Shelton. I appreciate you. But right here, this is what I'm talking about with the movement speed on this gun. It's not like the fastest sprint speed weapon in the game, but it's not bad at all. I think the Vector might be one of the fastest sprint speed bullet weapons in the game I, the fastest overall is the vr11 but i'm absolutely dusting all these zombies one hit me right there that's because i doubled back on them ain't got nothing on me we are absolutely dusting them they're so far behind they're getting burned these zombies run a 5 20 40 but unlike the vector this actually looks like it can hold its own in tier 3 because in that last video that we used the single tap mod you guys also let me know that there is a double tap mod for the vector and we kind of did an impromptu episode when we we're trying out the jack slash where we just kind of switched focus to the vector midway through because the jack slash was terrible and the vector also didn't do that great, but it was fast. I'll give it that. We can move around fast with it, but this ain't that much slower and it actually seems to deal some pretty decent damage. But what I think is the case for both of these weapons, I don't think either of them are that cut out for the unstable rift. I think the, the AK-74, you might be able to handle it for a little bit in there. It does have a pretty fast fire rate and some decent damage, but I really don't think there's a single bullet weapon out there that can withstand the unstable rift. And I'm not about to go in there without a scorcher. I am uh, not looking to lose all the stuff on this operator. So I want to take this into the dark aether instead. But to get us there, we're going to have to get a, uh, an elder sigil or an aether sigil. Do we have one here? Nope. But we got a uh, pack crystal. I'll take that. Let's do another bounty. Are we going to get another abomination? Oh, let's go. This abomination's got to have a sigil for us. Ain't no way we're going to go this whole game without getting one. Go ahead and drop it, buddy. Don't be shy. Yeah, come on over here so I can go on this roof and I can throw a nice little decoy. And all your zombie friends can go to that. While I take you out while you laser. We'll take you out with the STB this time. Give you a little something different. Shoot another laser, please. Thank you. And we'll be seeing ya. You put up a good fight, but it wasn't enough. I give you my sigil? Nope. Surely this bounty will give us a nice Aether sigil, right? All right, you better give me what I'm looking for. Thank you. Appreciate it. You just had to threaten them. Well, I don't think there's anything left for us to do in tier three. So let's make our way into the dark Aether. Let's just be quick with this and knock this out. Oh, and they made us lose our nice camo. We're stuck with Pack-A-Punch now. And it's another Abomination. That's the only thing they want us to fight today. All right, Abomination. You already know the drill. I'm going to use a 74U on you. This is definitely showing the most promise out of the two guns we brought in today. And it's keeping up the work. Well, Aether Shroud too. Keep them confused. Bro just lost his face and don't know where the guy that broke it went. Let's do another cashmere. Where'd you go? Oh, see, now I lost him. Now who's confused? Oh, fuck. I right, just shoot another laser. You already know how this ends. Why extend your misery? Oh, there's the laser we were asking for. And we broke his face. I, I might sound surprised there, but I really thought I was about to go down. I didn't think we had that much damage already on his face. Let's not lead him too far away. We don't want him to run back and heal. This is good, though. We got some nice visibility up here. Oh, what are you doing all the way up there? He's got the high ground. You're not Obi-Wan, though. Nice try. You got anything good? 
Not really. I don't really care about an Elder Sigil or a stupid ass Aether Bike he's trying to give me. But look at this. Absolutely demolishing these zombies. I ain't got a chance. The packet loss is doing more damage to me. On to the next. Let's get the P and D going and try to survive. The way this was handling zombies a second ago, I don't see any problem surviving with this. I think we got it in the bag. Knock on wood. Somebody knock on wood for me. I can't. I'm currently fighting for my life. Okay. Aether Shroud. Never hurt nobody. We'll give the STB a little bit of love. We'll use it a, a wee bit here. Oh, it's actually doing great damage in the Dark Aether. That ain't bad at all. But it just isn't the greatest against bosses. It seems to absolutely tear zombies. But bosses... Not so much. At least abominations, I should say. The Mangler could have went down a little faster. A little slow for my liking, but that wasn't terrible. Uh, maybe I mistreated you, S STB. I came in here thinking the, the cast-off was underrated. Turns out it's you. It's absolutely drilling zombies and giving them, like, huge aim punch, if you can even call it that. It's just giving them, like, giant flinch. Where they're trying to run at me, but the damage I'm doing to their cranium is, is stopping them. Let's see if we can fight our way out of this. A nice little, little corner experiment. We're doing all right. You can survive. And we did. Look at you go, STB. Everyone doubted you. And by everyone, I mean me. Oh, and you got me a legendary Aether tool. That's my guy right there. I guess this might be a bad time to check it. But let's go and look at how much ammo we have in this total. So 765 rounds for the Kazdorf. And only 320 for the STB, which is uh, very, very low. We haven't run out of ammo with it today yet. But I don't think you're using it enough to run out. Anyways, let's just go try to get our last bunny on top of the invisible mall. Come here, Mr. Peaks. Let's knock this shit out. A little cashmere. This should be one rocket done. There we go. And we're gonna have to Aether Shroud through this alley. Throw another cashmere. Activate this one. There goes two. And one more. And Dark Aether, this is your last chance to give me something nice. I mean, the legendary Aether tool is cool, but maybe uh, Mackle Holding or something, please. Last chance to look at me, Hector. Can I please open the reward rift? Come on, man. You can do better than that game. Very mid loot today. Well, I, I can't say mid, because we did get a legendary Aether tool, but still. I guess I'll take an Elder Sigil with me. Can't do anything with all these revives. And let's make like a tree and get out of here. That's not a terrible haul. I would like more, but I'm also greedy. So overall thoughts on these weapons, the cast off, as you could probably tell from what I was saying while we we're using it, I like it a lot and I can see myself coming back to using this weapon. The mobility is there. It can it can move around very, very well. It can outrun basically any zombie. Hellhounds are still going to catch up to you, but... Not a whole lot of guns where that don't happen. And the damage on it is very deceiving. Like you would think it wouldn't do a whole lot, but it was tearing through hordes of zombies in tier three and the dark aether and taking out mega abominations in both areas. As for the STB 556, it just leaves a little to be desired. It still does some great damage, especially against zombies. Like we, you saw how it did against armored zombies where it's basically one tapping their armor off and even taking off a fully armored zombies helmet without any upgrades at all in tier three. And it did pretty good against some elites. I think what really holds it back is that not not being fully automatic and it not really having the ability to take down a mega abomination at least quickly it could definitely take one down but it really doesn't do a whole lot of damage per bullet to the abominations for whatever reason but it does like three shot basically everything else so it's a very weird gun and i think it's definitely better than a, the tr76 with the same magazine that we used on this but it's not anything groundbreaking at least not in my opinion anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later